Mr. Richard Linares, an MS in Aerospace Engineering recipient, will give a farewell address. Congratulations, class of 2011. Today is a day to rejoice in our accomplishments. This moment seemed like it would never come, but finally it's here. And what started as a dream is finally a reality. For most of us, this moment became real when we turned in our last project or our committee members stepped out of the fence room and extended their hands for a congratulatory handshake. A feeling as if a weight was lifted off our shoulders. To know that we're finally done and to know that we're finally done. The well-deserved period of jubilation that followed was shared with fellow classmates that have become near and dear friends. You deserve it! This was not an easy task. Many testing moments which were overcome with the support and encouragement of our family and friends. But the road does not stop here. As you depart from this great university, you take on the responsibility of the new generation of engineers. Your life's work will drive this country's economy as you think up, new, new, think up new and innovative ways to solve our society's problems. Consider yourself privileged. While you're living in a period of tremendous growth in knowledge and technology, you're also entering one of the most productive uh, economies that this world has ever seen. Combined with the world-class education that you received at this great institution, each and every one of you has tremendous uh, capability. But you must remember to believe in yourselves, have the courage and clear purpose to be an integral part of progress. We must not forget that 50 years ago from this day, a young president made a dramatic and ambitious challenge to a nation to send an American safely to the moon before the end of the decade. This challenge was courageously accepted by an army of NASA engineers and scientists with only an average age of 28. The decade that followed saw a great national effort to achieve this goal the new technologies that resulted ushered in the modern world we live in today. And in the words of our current president, sustaining the American dream has never been about standing pat, has required each generation to sacrifice and struggle and meet the demands of a new age. And now it's our turn. Class of 2011, now it's your turn. Congratulations, class of 2011. Thank you, Mr. Linares. Immediately following the recessional, you are all invited to receptions honoring graduates, families, and friends. Light refreshments will be served. Receptions for chemical and biological engineering and electrical engineering will be held in Knox Hall. The departments of industrial and systems, engineering and mechanical and aerospace will gather in the student union. The Department of Civil, Structural, and Environmental Engineering will hold a reception in a tent outside of Ketter Hall. The Computer Science and Engineering Department will meet in the Student Union, Room 210. We ask that everyone exit this arena upon completion of the ceremony to allow the staff to prepare for the next ceremony. Thank you to the Buffalo Brass and Ms. Jennings. Ms. Jennings will now sing our alma mater and be accompanied by the Buffalo Brass Quintet. The words to the alma mater are on page 20 of the printed program. Everyone, please rise.
Christmas to the sky, receiving you the finest education, our knowledge we impart unto the Participants and graduates, please remain standing. Audience, please be seated and remain so until all participants and graduates have exited. I declare the commencement of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences of the State University of New York at Buffalo to be officially concluded.